Hello everybody. In this short video, I'm going to show you the migration of local PST files into Archive Mailbox. For migrating PSTs, we will use the product called Content Gate. Let's start. So, since we haven't created any migration yet, we are going to create one. On the source side, let's pick up the PST file and I have prepared some PST files to migrate here. So let's go and pick one. And on the target side, choose Exchange Server. In the configuration dialog, we need to configure the server and its connection data. So let's call it Office 365 on land. Uh, define the, the access method. The access method could be either messaging API or Exchange Web Services. For Office 365, let's pick up Exchange Web Services. So click on Configure. In order to access the Office 365 mailboxes, we have to provide the right Exchange Web Services URL, which is Outlook dot office365.com The server version is actually the latest, which is Exchange 2013. We need to provide a super user who has access to all the mailboxes we want to use as targets. So I define one user who is the admin of that subscription. So let's fill in his credentials. We don't need to provide any domain here. In order to migrate only into the archive mailboxes, we need to click the use archive mailbox if possible. So now click OK. Uh, the second part of the configuration is the user provisioning or the user synchronization. Let's click on set. We will use the same user to access the list of users and gather them. So I'm going to Fill it in. Okay, here it goes. And of course, the right PowerShell URL to the remote PowerShell, so which is vs.outlook.com, and let's use the basic authentication. Click OK. Once we are done with that, we click OK, and the system is going to establish a connection. Office 65, which might take some seconds. Okay, here we go. So the connection has been established. So let's name it. So let's say we name it PST to Office 365 Archive. Okay, we say create, and now we created our first migration using Content Gate. So click on Migrations, we will see the first migration. Unfold it, we see the source, which is the local PST. Clicking on the target, the system is going to retrieve the list of the user mailboxes defined on the, that particle Office 365 subscription. This uh, function might take also some seconds to finish. Here we go. As you can see, we have four users under this subscription and we will use one of them to migrate the local PST. Before we do that, we will take a look on that user mailbox. Let's see how it looks like. So I have Outlook 2013 installed here. I already have a predefined uh, profile. And as you can see, that particular user, CMA, has his own online archive mailbox as well which as we can see is completely empty. So let's go back and let's start a migration. 
So in order to be able to track the whole migration, it's, e it's, better, it's best to create a group. We call it EST, EST to cloud. And we will assign a user to that group. So we've, okay, so map PST to that user and amp the user to that group. Okay, here we go. So finally, we just need to start the migration. The migration is executed clicking on the context menu and choosing the migrate items option. So let's do that. The migration process consists of two parts. One is basically gathering the messages from the PST, creating a queue and then passing it to the archiving migration process. So we can see that the process has already started the migration and we see how we migrate the elements one by one. We can take a look also on the mailbox in the cloud. So we see there is a new folder created and within this folder uh, they are the already migrated elements appearing one by one and we can see also how the counts count of these messages is increasing. So clicking back to the application we can see a side-by-side -side migration from the local PST file into cloud archive. Thank you for your time and see you next time. Bye-bye.